Hello, great and wonderful people. My name is Charles, and this is Charles Peter Inspirations. Today, I want to speak on a topic I'm calling Divine Wave. Have you ever been in traffic or somewhere that is busy, and you meet a friend, you don't have a lot of time to exchange pleasantries, and all what you can do is wave at them. Occasionally, when you're in a car, you can honk and just alert them that you have seen them. You just do something to show them that you're aware of their presence. Do you know that occasionally God will honk at us or maybe wave at us to show us that we are together? Those moments you're going through uncertainties, you're going through challenges, and then out of nowhere, something happens. You don't know how to explain it, but it is just God telling you, we are together, I have not forgotten you. After the death of the Lord Jesus Christ, the disciples were very discouraged and they decided it's time to go back fishing. And the scripture records that they spent a whole night, but they did not catch anything. They were wondering what happened. Did we forget our fishing skills when we started following Jesus? The whole night they did not catch anything. Early in the morning, they saw a man sitting on the shore and he told, them, he told them just to cast their nets on the light hand of the boat, and they did it. Do you know something? They caught an overwhelming number of fish than they were expecting. Peter was able to recognize this is not normal. This is a divine wave. This is God showing us that we are not alone. He is together with us. My friend, what divine waves have you been ignoring from God? What have you been calling coincidence? And it is God showing you that I am together with you in that, that I still care, that I'm still concerned. The scripture says in the book of Psalms, chapter 86 and verse 17, give me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. God will give you a wave today. God bless you.